Wisconsin is recognized. We, I was wondering uh, if it were possible for the gentleman to yield the Congressional Black Caucus uh, maybe four to six minutes of your time. We have many speakers and we've worked very hard on this budget. Uh, and you know, yes. the, the majority gets its way, but the minority ought to get its say. Well, with the gentle lady yield. Yes, <laughs> this is your time. Oh, um, yes. I, I appreciate the gentlelady yielding. The gentlelady from Tennessee, Ms. Black, controls our time, and we've got a few more. We, we do have a, a, another speaker or two, uh, but as soon as, as uh, your time expires, and if we have uh, time remaining, then we'll be happy to yield some time to the, uh, to the CBC. Thank you so much uh, for that courtesy. Gentlewoman from Wisconsin is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's, it's really my privilege to discuss the social safety net programs that are at the heart of the Congressional Black Caucus budget. Uh, the CBC acknowledges the efforts on the part of the majority to address debt and deficits, but we cannot do it on the backs of the poor. Much has been made uh, of jobs being the answer. We agree with that. But there are the disabled elderly children who comprise the poor who do, cannot and do not work. This budget cuts $759 billion, the Republican budget, and cuts to non-defense discretionary budget below the already damaging sequester levels. In addition, another $4 trillion cuts to mandatory spending, a lifeline to benefits um, like food stamps, Medicaid, and Medicare. The CBC budget offers Americans a choice in stark contrast to the Republican budgets. We invest in low-income families and students and provide security so that our impoverished, our infirm, and our elderly, elderly and children are treated with dignity and respect. It, re it protects the social safety net. It rejects the block granting of Medicaid and food stamps and voucherizing Medicare. It restores the TANF Emergency Contingency Fund rather than the $34 billion OCO slush fund. We do 2.5 billion rather than 34 billion um, for a slush fund. It also restores our emergency unemployment insurance for all Americans. Millions of Americans have exhausted these benefits and it invests in so many other vital programs such as WIC, LIHEAP, public housing, homeless assistance, Section 8, and rural housing programs, social services block grant, child care uh, development block grant. I want to thank the chair and my CBC colleagues for working with me in, uh, on this very worthy budget. Please vote yes on this alternative budget, and I yield back the time to the gentleman.